The International Space Station has circled the Earth for 25 years now, a floating laboratory where gravity disappears and science rewrites itself. Some people believe we've learned enough we really are ready to take those next steps to the Moon and to Mars. But are there fundamental challenges in physics, biology, and engineering that could stop us? The ISS isn't just a home in space. It's the most expensive physics experiment ever built. These experiments aren't just academic. They've improved semiconductors, cooling systems, and even helped design better turbine blades, all from data gathered from orbit. NASA plans to transition low Earth orbit operations to commercial partners while maintaining exploration beyond LEO. NASA's Gateway, a smaller outpost that will be in a near rectilinear halo orbit around the moon, is being built to support Artemis lunar surface missions and to act as a stepping stone for deeper exploration. To turn the idea of a round-trip mission to Mars into a reality, engineers have a lot of physics-heavy problems to handle. Here's what I consider the five biggest technical developments that have to be advanced. Number five, autonomy and robotics. Number four, propulsion and transit architecture. Number three, long duration human health. Number two, resource utilization. And number one, radiation protection. Beyond Earth's protective magnetosphere, cosmic rays and solar particle events dramatically increase radiation doses. They need lightweight but effective shielding approaches, better forecasting of solar storms, and countermeasures for if a CME comes their way. Now, when it comes to the technical developments, the one I think we'll have the most trouble with is the radiation exposure, because the sun is unpredictable. And even though we have a bunch of satellites watching the sun constantly now, if a CME were to come their way, I'm afraid that we'd end up with cooked astronauts landing on Mars.